Today, I'm going to show you a quick fix for fixing a problem that you may have faced with one of these keyboards. This is a Yamaha P90, and I've had it for more than 15 years, and it's been great for playing when uh, you don't want to wake anybody up. So, here's the problem. This key here, you can see the action is uh, much slower. This, this key here is much slower than these keys. So if you're actually playing anything fast, it becomes a very difficult, very annoying problem. Um, if you take a close look, you can see that the problem is because this key is slightly tilted. Now this key actually, you might wonder how come uh, this one gets worn out. I've actually switched it from uh, one of these uh, sensor keys here uh, because these get played the most. So I've moved it over here and I'll tell you, I'll show you how to remove the key in a little bit. So to take this apart, we're going to flip it over and, uh, and there's a lot of screws on the bottom here. We'll start off on this side here. careful here when you're opening it up not to uh, tear any of the wires out. So here's the key. You can see that it returns slowly. Um, and the reason is because the key is slightly tilted. Now if we wanted to remove the key, uh, the way that this would can be done without taking the entire action out of this thing is uh, lifting very gently, just popping it off, and then you need to slide the key out this way by about a quarter inch while keeping it flat. So you can move it that way a little bit and then it comes off. And so uh, there's the key. You can see that there's this hole right here and this thing connects down into a little tab sticking out down there. So if I wanted to put this, uh, this back, uh, but before I put it back, I'll tell you what the problem is. Uh, it's that over time, uh, this key, this little part here that snaps into this top part gets a little weak or loose and then so it allows the key to rotate this way a little bit. And so when that happens, then there's friction that's built up between uh, this part here and, uh, and sliding in and out of there. And you also want to check that there's enough grease. There should be grease uh, inside this spot. So if you're missing grease or some sort of lubricant, uh, you might want to add that. So now to get this back in, we might want to put this tab into this slot here and then we'll gently put it in and we need to slide the key forward a bit and then drop it down, push it back and then snap it in place. So there's our key. Now the action on this key is a little bit slow and so to fix this problem, uh, I mean we could either buy a new key or um, what also works is you just take uh, some paper. Uh, this is a little bit of cardstock, fold it in half and half again, and then you just stick it into that slot there. And so that tilts the key back this way enough that it's now moving just like the other keys. There, that's a simple fix. Let's put this back together. So, uh, here it is. It's, the action's all fixed. So, if this video was helpful to you, just click like or subscribe below.